But but I've always just been fascinated by your mind. Like you have an abstract, what I was calling an abstract mind. You think very much like most comedians. You think outside of the box, but sure. you you even further to the left or further to the right, right? <laughs> whatever makes you comfortable. But you you have a, a certain a, a thing like like you were just talking about Deion right, Sanders. Right. Right. Uh, getting beat by, you right. know, like having right. an Aflac right. commercial and right. getting beat by some ducks. Right. You right. know, that, that like, we we know he has, an, like, I know he has an Aflac right. commercial. Right. I know he got beat by some ducks. Right. But I didn't put the two together. Yeah. Well, I, I know great... he got beaten by the Oregon ducks, but I didn't put the two together and say, you I know. have, the, the great thing about the process that we're in right now is you have to have like minded, like, I, I surround myself with people who really know my mind and how it works. And so you have a creative brain trust um, and somebody will come up with a joke or somebody will come up with a through line or you'll be in conversations. And and so if you surround yourself with people who are always thinking and firing stuff off, chances are your mindset is going to be um, more amenable to having conversations. It's, it's the best thing in the world is to talk to crazy ass comedians um, when they don't have anything at stake. And if you surround yourself in an environment where that's, that's pretty prevalent, you're going to hear and say and do some things that are, that are kind of, uh, that are kind of contrary to people. So it's, it's, I think you have to be immersed in an environment where people are thinking differently, acting differently and saying things that are just not the norm. You know, what the best conversations happen with comedians, 